Okay, you came home with a birthday present for me, which was some disgusting tasting plant-based milk. I've got a review for you to try. I bought this when we were camping at Silver Spring State Park. It is pure organic, sugar-free chocolate syrup. Hey, what's up family? I'm Joe. And I'm Anthony. And this is Two Crazy Ketos. And here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. Now you can find us on all kinds of social media like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And also make sure you hit that little bell button so that you are notified every time we upload a new video. So this past weekend for my 50th birthday, Rachel and I went to Silver Spring State Park and I ran to Walmart to get something and it was really cold. It was like in the 30s. And I ended up picking up like the hot chocolate mix, the powdered stuff, which is put out by the same company, yeah. Pure. And I saw this and I decided to pick it up. Now we have not yet opened it and I figured this would make a good review. So this is pure organic, sugar-free, chocolate flavored syrup. It does say vegan friendly and it's a good source of fiber. So you wanna try this? Yes. Okay, well I got two different ways we're gonna try it. Number one, you're gonna try just try it. a yeah. spoon. And then also, <clears throat> we'll make some chocolate milk. This is the best way to make chocolate milk. Now with powdered stuff, with chocolate syrup. Seems very watery. It smells chocolatey. Oh, it does. Put this back on here. We'll give it a little shake just in case, but let's see. <laughs> okay, well, don't do that. Let's do it like this. Now that you have chocolate over it, it okay, it is a little watery. It's kind of like magic shell watery. Here, can you take the spoon? No. Well, I don't want the spoon. <laughs> it's all over me. It tastes like there was cherry in here. Okay. I don't know about that. <clears throat> is there cherry in here? It is very cherry flavor. It doesn't taste bad, but it's definitely, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> it's definitely not like a chocolatey chocolate chocolate. Well, should we try to make a chocolate milk with it? More like cherry milk. Tabitha, you can't have any of this. Okay, every time we sit down in the video, she comes in here. Okay, you gotta get down. Go down. Okay, here we go. It, I mean, when I say it is watery, like it is, it's, it's very Okay, watery. a serving size is two tablespoons, so I'm just gonna put two of these, which is like a, a teaspoon. teaspoon. So really, should probably have one more. Look, I even brought a good stirrer thing. Wait, it's a stirrer? I always thought that was like a frother. It is, but it stirs well. What? No, this is almond milk. Oh, okay, so it's not pea meal. Pea milk. I feel like we probably need another spoon in there. What, what is Let's we, put an actual what? serving. <laughs> That's enough. Half of it got on the table. That really just kind of came out. I see how you got it on me now. Wow, we made a mess. Yeah. Mom's gonna kill us. I don't taste anything. It's like watery. It's like, yeah, you're gonna need a lot. And that's only eight ounces of water. <laughs> that's too much for me. Watch, I still won't taste anything. Oh, where's this thing? You're gonna make a mess. I wanna do it. Hit the bottom of the glass, you're gonna make a mess. You're gonna shoot it everywhere. That is a lot of chocolate syrup in there. This is what chocolate milk is supposed to look like. Okay. How do I turn it off? Oh. Okay. Are, are you gonna drink that? Yeah, I'm gonna drink this. Okay, can we do our five things review? 
five things. If you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're gonna talk about the ingredients. Does the keto based on a nutrition label? Has it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Okay, so number one, the ingredients. I think I had a little bit too much chocolate. I think so. The ingredients are water, organic soluble tapioca fiber, organic erythritol, organic cocoa powder, xanthan gum, natural flavors, and uh, tyrannic acid, organic stevia. See, the ingredients aren't bad now. Some people do have a reaction to uh, organic soluble uh, tapioca fiber, and uh, it does have a bunch of fiber in there. They're using the fiber a little bit as a sweetener, so I would definitely check your glucose levels before and after. Some people have effects, some people don't. It doesn't personally affect me, but it does affect other people. So ingredients aren't super bad. They're not the cleanest in the world, but they're not like the worst in the world. Number two, does it keto based on a nutrition label? Uh, so a serving size is a tablespoon. So basically three of these yeah. would be a tablespoon. Um, it's 10 calories, seven total carbohydrates, or about 100 in that little thing that you put there, four grams of dietary fiber, two grams of erythritol. So it's one net carb per tablespoon. Um, okay, so it's not super bad. Number three, how does it taste? It doesn't taste like chocolate It doesn't syrup. taste like chocolate. It tastes like cherry. It tastes like a chocolate covered cherry. That's yeah, what it tastes like. It, it does. It's almost like the cherry stuff that you would see inside of the Christmas chocolate covered cherries. Yeah. It's got a much more cherry taste. It does not taste very chocolatey. It's not even overly sweet. I definitely would say that I don't think it tastes as good as the powdered pure, which you've had the powdered pure. We did it in one of the crates and that was actually very good. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> overall, I don't think it tastes that great. It's not, not really. it's not, I'm kind of disappointed in it. So it does say add a tablespoon to a cup of milk, which we did drizzle over ice cream or mix into smoothies or shakes. I just feel like it's too weak. It's very, very weak. You need it a lot. And now I think you have too much. Let's see. Maybe I can. You're going to make a mess. You should probably pour it the other way. No. You're going to. We're already it. made a mess. That's going to go everywhere. I'm impressed. It does mix very easily. I will it say does. that. I'm just gonna get put. It's gonna get put over there. That's a lot better. Is it better? I'll take a little sip. Oh my god, that's a lot of chocolate. That okay. tastes like chocolate. So when you though. add that much, there's a lot of chocolate. Number four. How much does it cost? That does really taste like a, a homemade chocolate melt now. How much does it cost? I paid $3.78 for this, so I don't think that is bad at all. So price-wise, I think it's actually pretty good. There are 28 servings in here, or about six of Anthony's servings. Um, Nobody goes by the serving size. <laughs> Nobody goes by the serving size. Number five, would we recommend it? I honestly would not recommend this. I wouldn't. I, I mean, unless you really like cherry... It, it's just not. I guess that if you good. want a little bit of syrup on top of ice cream, yeah. it's not that bad. It's not going to get hard because no. there's no oil in it or anything like that. Maybe it might get a little hard, but I just think it's number one. It just doesn't taste like chocolate. It's it's very watery. It I is. mean, it's all over Anthony. It's probably now all over our bench. No, I haven't moved. So it's, it's all over our table. It doesn't come out like chocolate syrup. So yeah, it, it really I thought it was going to just come out like a slow little droop, and it just. Yeah, Sprayed. it really, like, if you're looking for that old-fashioned chocolate syrup, this isn't it. Mm -mm. If you add enough of it, it's okay. But I personally, I would not buy this again. I bought it for this review, and I probably would not ever buy this again. So that's going to be today's video. Uh, now, if you like seeing review videos like this, you can check out the entire playlist, which we have linked right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you're gonna find right over here. But whether you go this way or you go that way, make sure you go this way, hit this little button down here, subscribe to our channel, and also make sure you hit that little bell button so that you are notified every single time we upload a new video. And until next time, bye. bye.